Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludkin. I'm up here today at Frazee High School Commons with Community Ed Director Dave Troutman. Hi, Dave. Thanks, Hank. Thanks for coming up. And also here is Carrie Schultz from the Early Childhood Family Education. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Hank. Thanks for having me. You bet. So, Community Ed has got his track shoes on, and he's running. Yes, we're up and running, Hank. And uh, like I said, I appreciate you coming up here so that we can share some of the things that we have going on. Uh, one of the first things I guess I'd just like to identify as uh, around Vergas and also around Frazee, we've put out flyers in particular at the bank locations and various other locations as well that are available for people to see that yes, we are up and running and certain classes are identified and also future classes that we hope to have running. Uh, other things that we want people to be aware of is that they will give local updates within our local paper in terms of uh, things as they progress, as they, we build. Also in the, probably the end of December, early January, we're gonna have what they're more familiar with is the winter spring brochure. And we're putting that together as we go as well. But that should be available at that time. Um, if you, know, I, you don't mind me keep going here, Hank, I'd like to share Just go right thing. ahead. Uh, how to contact us, if they've got some ideas, please do so. Please give us a call uh, at our number 218-334. 3181 and then I believe we're option three uh, otherwise you can go to our website if you just go to Frazee Virgus schools and click on you'll find community ed ECFE you can click on to each page it'll give you information as well but those things are out there for us and available and if you've got ideas we'd sure love to hear them and see if we can put something together and I'm sure you have some ideas Hank I can well I, I think we will you know as time goes here so Gary so what's happening with ECFE well we have quite a bit going on with um, the end of the year already or I should say the end of the fall season and that's in December when we have two Santa days one will be at the Burgess Community Center and the other at the Frazee Elementary both are supported by the cities as well as the local commercial community clubs um, December 7th that's a Saturday will be at Burgess and that's from 12 to 2 on the 14th we have um, the Santa days from 10 to 2 uh, and that's at the elementary um, New this year, which is pretty exciting, on Friday the 13th, we're going to host a Santa dance. At the Santa dance will be Santa and Mrs. Claus, along with probably some elves or, I don't know, somebody from the North Pole will be there with them. Um, we, in the past, we've had a father-daughter dance in the spring, and we're hoping this will bring out the dads with their young daughters also for this. That's going to be the 13th from 6 to 7.30. Again, at the elementary, there'll be some popular preschool music along with a variety of activities. We'll have a Santa limbo. I don't know if Santa's aware of that yet, but <laughs> maybe Mrs. Claus will do the limbo. I don't know. There'll be a grand march, light snacks. Um, Taylor Wutzke, one of the students here, is going to be our DJ that day. And Brian Sealander, um, the band teacher, is helping us with our equipment, so we really appreciate that. Um, so we encourage parents and grandparents to come and take pictures. Well, this sounds like a great deal. So. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to talk to, Dave, as we wind down? Yes, I'd just like to mention a couple of uh, classes that we have going on in November as well. Uh, smartphones is a, a class. It's a one-time course, one day. And basically, it's a uh, everybody wants to use the iPhone, different phones, and learn about it. I know I have one, have no clue how to run it. But uh, the, here's an opportunity to do it. It costs $5, but the kicker is Verizon will throw in a $25 gift certificate too for all the attendees. So that one's coming up. Christmas present. There you go. Uh, also, we've got defensive driving refresher course both in Vergas and in Frazee going on. And then we're working with Frazee Rescue for a CPR first aid and healthcare provider, which is on two Saturdays, uh, Excuse me, I guess it'll be three Saturdays, but uh, it's on the 16th of November and also the 30th of November. But if people will put, put together the CPR and first aid, taking both of them together, uh, normally they're $15 a piece, we'll give them a $5 rebate too, because uh, you, you know as well as I do, that's, those are good things. Well, I appreciate you both being on the program. And with that, we'll be right back with another segment of Spotlight on Frazee. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ledke, and I'm here today at Frazee City Office with City Administrator Jonathan Smith. Hi, John. Good morning, Hank. 
How you doing? Tremendous. Well, you know, fall's here. <clears throat> Fall is here. And it's really starting to look like it, too, and feel like it. Uh, it's more like winter, I think. <laughs> But right before Holy Week, we've got something special that we're going to be doing here at the city on November 5th down at the event center. Yeah, we do. Uh, we're going to have a community meeting November 5th at 5.30. Uh, this, actually, it's kind of a two-stage meeting. Uh, this first stage uh, at 5.30 is really going to be to concentrate and give a, a quick overview of what the Minnesota design team uh, came up with on their visit uh, back in September. And so we're going to kind of review uh, the boards that they presented. And then we're, the goal really is to uh, get people uh, that have certain interests uh, be it in you know the beautification of let's say Main Street uh, or the planning of you know trail routes, um, you know economic development or, or any of that, and, and really get some some people that have passion about certain areas and get them into certain groups, and then uh, from there we're going to start to, to prioritize uh, some of the concepts that that the design team came up with and probably some of the concepts that that just the community members have, uh, and really start getting a, a list of projects uh, and tasks to. To start completing some of this and, and really start uh, working on the development of, of the community so well and and I think that's a tremendous idea because we get these task groups working together here we've got our plans ready here by late winter and we can look at hitting the ground running this spring yeah everything kind of fell into a, a really good timing um, <clears throat> as far as when the visit happened uh, and the things they came up with because it really allowed us uh, the winter to, to kind of keep moving forward and really have a, a, a really good laid out um, concise plan that everybody's on board with um, I think you know that that's one of the big important parts about this is is to have these projects um, you know tasked out but everybody has the buy-in on them everybody's comfortable with the the look the feel uh, the design of, of all the projects that we're looking at you know even if it's you know something as simple as uh, new benches on Main Street you know everybody knows what benches are going to be there what they look like and everybody understands that and so uh, if it's starting to theme you know what our Main Street looks like or, or what have you um, everybody on the same page and every small project goes to that bigger goal of, of you know what the community is going to look like so well and we need to uh you know uh focus our identity yes yes definitely um and and just quickly too the second part of this meeting which starts at 6 30 uh is to work on the safe routes to school uh we had a, a grant uh that we're just kind of working on right now with the safe routes to school uh planning assistance and part of that is to get some community input and things like that and and so uh the 6 30 meeting will be kind of an introduction to who the safe routes uh to school team is uh who's been working on the things the survey results that we've done and then really look at the the community and see how we can route and, and so these kids have uh, a safe uh, walking, biking, um, you know, however their mode of transportation is to and from school, uh, specifically, you know, in, in, the, in the community. But also, you know, if there's ways to do remote drops from, for the buses. So, you know, maybe these kids are getting some exercise in the morning, uh, getting to walk to school, burn off some of that, that sugary cereal that they eat. Um, <laughs> But, you know, a, a, that also has a, a bigger scheme, too, as far as, you know, uh, trail development and, and sidewalks uh, within the city. So if we need to identify sidewalk improvements, adding sidewalks, uh, you know, things like that. So it all kind of melds together, um, and, and it should be a great afternoon. Like I said, 5.30 it starts, 6.30 is a safe route to school one, but it should be a really good uh, uh, evening of, of kind of planning. So Okay, so Frazee Event Center, November 5th, 5.30 and 6.30, but try to make it uh, 5.30 and if you can't, then make it to the 6.30. But, but, but make it to both if you can. And with that, we'll be back next week for another segment of Spotlight on Frizzy.